precision medicine, in my view, is a great promise, uh, especially so as we have seen, seen over the last two decades or so with the shift towards what's called evidence-based medicine, a huge standardization of healthcare, of practices in the entire medical sector. Um, we want treatments, because they're dangerous, because they're expensive, that are really robust and that have a proven e efficacy. The downside of that approach is that it's cookbook medicine, that we more or less treat patients across the board the same, just what the diagnosis is and then the best treatment for that condition. Precision medicine offers tailor-made approaches, therapeutic approaches to individual um, patients designed to target their disease, not just the disease. So that's a great promise. If it's working, um, it's still an open question. We have very, very good cases. Um, we don't know yet how we can transfer the insights from these very specific cases uh, to larger groups and perhaps eventually even to the majority of patients. This actually relates immediately to um, our approach and hopefully also our contribution to, to, to the cluster. Um, um, precision medicine is about translation. Um, with the Human Genome Project um, developing, we uh, tended to think about it as a very much unidirectional um, sequence or chain of processes, from the genome to the prote proteins and from there to the disease and from there to the therapeutic intervention. With now the, the insights from the last um, perhaps 10 or 15 years, we know that this story is much, much more complex, that we have to interact with, with um, epigenetic modification, with interaction with the environment. So we talk about networks, of communicating networks already inside the body, inside the patient, but also among the different sciences and the scientists we need to uh, interact, to collaborate interdisciplinarily. And that also, in my view, offers great opportunities to just connect this ongoing inter interdisciplinary in collaboration with patient views, life world perspectives, um, societal needs, etc. As I already th said, um, in my view, it's still an open question um, what would chunk out of the, of the medical market um, precision medicine will be able to, to, um, to develop into. Um, but um, in any way, what will change dramatically is the um, impact of um, state-of-the-art um, information systems, information management systems, big data approaches in medicine. And this applies, again, not just to the systems biologists or to the geneticists or those people running big clinical trials. This also applies, obviously, to society and the patients. The patients will enter medicine in the new information economy. They will know a lot, perhaps not the kind of knowledge that their physicians want them to know, um, but they will be... Um, um, Partly shaped, pre-informed by all these data that's around um, in on the internet, in their personal networks, etc. So I think this dealing with information, with available information, in sensible ways, will change medicine dramatically.